Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 4. Today we're going to be having a look at the brand new uh, Main Talban Aschaffenburg to Miltenburg route add-on. It was released on the 28th of November 2023, priced at £24.99. We're going to have a look and uh, just see how we get on. So uh, yeah, with this you get 133 drivable timetables five scenarios, one training module, which I have done, I don't know why that's uh, that's not uh, ticking it off as complete, but I have, oh it's the route introduction, I see, right, okay, uh, yeah, I've not done that, I've learned how to drive the train, so that's all we need to know, uh, we're going to be driving the De Zero, uh, which I love as Siemens De Zero, the class 185 in the UK is one of my favourite trains, this is not quite a 185, it's uh, the BR642 in Deutsche Bahn Red, we're going to be, uh, let's have a look, it was middle of the day, wasn't it? Where are we now? Uh, it was a 30 minute one. Where are we? Come on, 30 minutes, where are you? I, I literally had you loaded up. I think that was it. Yeah, that's the one. Ah, Schaffenberg, but it was an earlier one to Kralshelm. Uh, oh, come on, we'll do that one. Kralshelm to Ah, Schaffenberg. Middle of the day, 33 minutes in length. It looks like there's, uh, there's plenty to see on the route. So, uh, yeah, it looks like this is going to be more or less the full route so we'll see how we get on now this has got a mixed review oh wow that's uh, that's quite bright isn't it right unlock the doors um yeah i don't like this train from the uh hang on a second have we we've not opened the doors that's why right hang on a second where's the where's the key i i do know what i'm doing there we go master key on and uh, and rests doors open yeah i don't like this train uh i've never driven it other than doing the tutorial but I don't like the... Oh, what's happening with the... There we go. I don't like the train. I think it's a hideously ugly train. Uh, I think those windows are just stupidly big. They're unnecessarily big. Um, I, I don't think it's a good looking train. That said, I've never driven one on Train Sim before. Train Sim World or Train Sim Classic. So uh, we're going to see how we get on. Now, uh, driving here, have we got something else down there? Let's uh, let's have a look. Is that another unit? It is. It's uh, it's unusual to see uh, so many diesel trains. We've got the uh, the tail lights on the back there. Make sure no lights on in the middle. That's a good start. Sometimes uh, sometimes you do see the lights on, but uh, yeah, it's 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 a decent model train. You can see what it's meant to be. The cab is uh, is is nice enough. It's the uh, the typical DB blue. Uh, can we uh, can we get out and have a wander? Oh, look at that glass. Lovely. I mean, look how big the windows are, completely unnecessary. Can we go in the loom? No, we can't. Yeah, I, oh, I like the floor. Gorgeous, look at that. Wow. I mean, you, you, there's no mistaking what operator you're on, is there? Right, there we go, let's shut that. Can we, can we put the blind down so that everyone's not watching us? No, no, we can't. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's sit in the driver's seat and, uh, and get ready for departure. Now, it's, it looks like we've got, what's that? It's a 642, 642, 613. Is that 642163? 163, 642163, 642176 on the back, 676. Yeah, right, okay, so the, the actual TMS here does correspond with the units that you're driving. I mean, I'm going to shut the doors. We've got a red signal here. So so what's the what's the crack there? Are we, uh, are we not going? Have we not got... See, it's a red signal. Should you shut your doors on a red signal? I mean, in the UK, that's massively frowned upon. Let's, uh, let's contact the signaller. Denied. Wait for the signal to change. Excellent. So we're... Uh, oh, there's a train coming. You can just see it there over the bridge. Lovely. Right, well, we'll uh, we won't go anywhere then. The, uh, the train coming the other way is obviously just running a few minutes late. That's probably... Given there's a train in that platform there, it's probably going to come to the, uh, the, well, the right-hand side of us. His left, our right. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm certainly intrigued about this. These apparently were made in 2000. They look a lot more modern than... Uh, they certainly don't look 23 years old, do they? But, uh, but yeah, oh, it looks like there's a lot of double sets. Flipping heck, is he stopping? Coming in at that speed, good lord. Right, are we, uh, are we ready? I'm not quite sure what to expect. I've never driven this, as I say. Never driven the route. Um, oh, right, off we go. Oh, wow, that, uh, that, that goes to uh, full power quite quick. There we go. Right, into notch 10. Oh, 
Oh, it's it's got like a 195 gearbox. That is very unusual. Right, okay, so, I mean, whereabouts are we actually, if we press T, we're stopping at Kleinholbach, Klingenberg, Erlenbach, Oberberg, Obernberg, Elsenfeld, and Aschaffenberg. So it's a fairly, fairly quick service, this one, by the look of things. We don't have too many stops on, uh, on the journey. Got a nice panoramic windscreen, haven't we? Look at that. It's uh, it's lovely. When you when you press A and D to uh, accelerate and decelerate, it really does. Look how fast it goes up the the. It's difficult to get a, a smooth acceleration there. And same with braking. Look, I've just pressed D, and it's already gone into into five out of ten. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, this is unusual. This is very odd. I mean. You see, don't you think that these trains look like they've got an enormous mouth? Do you, do you not think, like, they, this particular train, it looks like it's got a face on the front, doesn't it? And it looks like it's got a right big gopping mouth. We're having a couple of shots there. Right, there we go. Right, can we can we bring that back now? Oh, we are speeding. Right, there we go. Full steam ahead. Kleinelbach is the next stop. Now, uh, yeah, there's quite a few people that are saying that there's there's a lot of bugs on this route, um, which it, it would be a shame if that was the case. Uh, I've not noticed anything as of yet. It does look a little bit sort of... I don't know. I'm, I'm not sort of bowled over by by the beauty of this route. Again, I don't really know. I don't, I don't actually know where we are in Germany. Oh, we've got, uh, we've got some, some freight wagons on the left-hand side there. That's lovely. Uh, there does appear to be a little shunting locomotive as well that you get with this. Yeah, I, uh, you see, I don't really know much about this. I mean, what's the, what's the what does it sound the side? West Frankenbahn. So I'm assuming, is this the West Frankenbahn that we're driving now? Right, there's, uh, there's red up ahead. It does appear that we are stopping before then, however, so uh, so we'll just take the uh, take that off. Bit of coasting, a little bit of lag, which uh, yeah, I was really hoping we'd get away without that. I find the sounds very very sort of odd on this. I mean, I'm, I'm you see, I'm I'm really trying to get a a smooth break, but it's I don't get why it's it, it sort of whizzes up and down so quick. I mean, if you look at the... Look how, look how fast the handle moves. There's no need for the handle to move that quick. At all. Oh, we've got an old station there on the right-hand side. Lovely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just not bowled over with how beautiful it is. Maybe it's not... There we go. Oh, hang on. The windscreen wipers are on. We don't want that. I'm trying to toot the horn. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not... You know, like the the oh, for goodness sake, Trent's in world again, putting the putting the doodars on. I don't want that. Go away. You did this to me the other day. Hood and gameplay, stop marker off. Don't want it. Just leave me alone. Just just that is fine. I don't need to know where each of the coaches should stop. I mean, why is it why is it revving its knackers off? We're, we're idling. Right, we'll slow right down here. Come on, stop. God, there's a few waiting, isn't there? What's this here? So we've got a platform there, and then there's a... That's very bizarre. There's like an island platform in the middle. That's very strange. Oh, I love the noise. That's awesome. That's uh, that's very Siemens De Zero, isn't it? That sort of... That groaning noise of the brakes. Lovely. Right, there we go. Doors are opening. Now, what I would be interested to hear if we uh, if we zoom in here, I mean, obviously it's diesel. This is the first sort of diesel multiple unit we've driven on the uh, trains in world, isn't it? All right, here we go. So passengers are all boarding. It's good that they're boarding more than one at once. So uh, you know they're sort of all whizzing forward for the doors. Do we have a hustle alarm though? And I, I, I mean, these will have a hustle alarm, won't they? Because they just will have a hustle alarm. There we go. Lock doors. No, no sound at all. Where's the beep, 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 beep? There should be a beeping, of course. Right, there we go. I've never been on one of these before. 
They don't sound great. Is this what they sound like, for goodness sake? I mean, they've got like a 195 style gearbox, haven't they? Like a ZF. I wonder if that is what they have in real life, a ZF gearbox. See, without being, you know, without travelling on one, it's very, very difficult to sort of offer my uh, experience on the sounds. Usually the sounds, when it comes to the electric traction, is very good on trains. In the, uh, the, the Talents, for instance, the Bombardier Talent 2s, sound really, really good. Right, there we go, full steam ahead, 6.6 kilometres to Klingenberg. Uh, but yeah, the, the Bombardier Talent 2s do sound really good. The, uh, the, the German like ICEs sound fantastic. The diesel stuff on this, I mean like the 142 for example, doesn't sound great. A lot of the diesel traction doesn't sound fantastic on this. It seems like they struggle with diesel sounds. It just sounds a bit sort of computer generated almost. You know, it, it's... Again, this might be what they sound like. Again, so please do let me know in the comments if you know a lot about these trains. If Is this accurate? Is it not? I don't know. I mean, it's a fairly decent drive, to be honest with you. I guess if it's going to be uh, single track for a lot of the way, there's not going to be an awful lot of scenario traffic. Uh, I don't mean scenario traffic, scenery traffic, sorry. AI traffic. Doesn't appear that you get a lot of freight down here either. The, you know, the, the actual services you could drive. There was no freight locomotives to drive down here. So it sort of makes you wonder... Uh, is there an awful lot you can do with this? Oh right, the, the driver's brake, right, that does actually work, right, okay. Oh, revving it, revving it uh, again. I must apologise, if, uh, if I'm not getting my words out properly, I am really, really tired. It's currently five o'clock in the morning, I've been on nights and I am not particularly sleeping very well. Uh, I'm on, I was on nights yesterday and I'm on nights again tomorrow. And this is sort of like a, a little bit off in the middle. Uh, so I'm trying to keep the same pattern, but I'm absolutely shattered. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd do my YouTube now. <laughs> oh, because it's a class 642. We've driven 6.42 kilometers. I never understand why they don't make it 642 kilometers. Make it an achievement that is actually worth achieving. Rather than, oh, you've, you've driven this round the corner. Congratulations. I mean, we're doing 108 kilometres an hour. I'm not really getting much of a sensation of speed. I mean, you see, this is not good. When you look at, I mean, we did the live stream the other day, didn't we? That drive that we did. It's not so bad that now that the uh, the foliage is sort of coming in. It'd be great if we got a bit more of a render distance, wouldn't it? But, you know, when we drove from um, Peterborough to Cambridge and back on the live stream, I was on about how the route felt alive and how we, you know, it was such a detailed route. You don't get that on a lot of trains in world routes. Uh, I don't get that sort of feeling of that, that the towns that you drive through are sort of real living towns. I always find that around the track in particular, there's just too much of a, a perfect, in inverted commas, I don't really know how else to say it, but like a perfect area. You know, looking ahead now, it's just, it's almost like this sort of boundary here around the edge of the track. They're like, oh no, we don't want to put any scenery in here to make it look decent you know all the scenery can be from here outwards and there's, there's sort of like a really obvious sort of between scenery and where you drive I know that obviously you're not expecting to see like semi-detached houses across the middle of the track that's ridiculous but like you know there's no clutter around the line you know there should be some rubbish at the side a bit of you know what some track workers have just left even if it's I mean I know that obviously in the UK the, the, the railways are very different to Germany. Maybe they don't leave clutter here, but like, look, this is a bit perfect. It's a little bit too... I feel that there'd be more weeds, there'd be more a bit more foliage, a bit more over... You know, more overgrown. Maybe maybe I'm, I just have a very low sort of expectation of the railways. Maybe Germany's railways are absolutely gorgeous and picturesque. I don't doubt that for a second. I love German, uh, German railways. But yeah, I just think there should be... The grass is a bit too... It's like they mow the lawn next to the line, and I just don't think they would. Oh wow, look at this. This is like a little little, little sort of helter-skelter slide there. I thought it were a water park for a second. God, don't tell my other half I'd be here in a shot. Oh, it's into a pool! 
Oh, this must be some lovely weather here then that you get. Right, we'll slow down, coming over the uh, over the bridge here. Lovely, gorgeous. Ooh. Bit of flange. The flange sound sounds a little bit uh, bizarre, just odd, just just a little bit strange. You know what I mean? Right, here we go. Let's have a bit more braking. See, we're actually, hang on, what day are we on now? We are on Friday, the 1st of December. Come on, stop, 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 stop. We're on Friday, the 1st of December, when uh, on Monday we actually fly to Berlin. I'm so excited. I mean, those of you that know me, those of you that have been on, uh, on the channel for a little while now, you will know that I have an absolute love obsession with the city of Berlin. If you've not been and you love your transport, go. You will absolutely love it. It's such a gorgeous city. Um, but yeah, we're going to Berlin for our uh, our annual Christmas trip. We didn't think it was happening because finances were, were quite tight this year. You know, we were sort of looking at it like, can we afford it? Can we not? Because obviously, cost of living crisis has been mental in the UK. I'm sure everywhere all over the world has been feeling it. But yeah, we, we have been as well. Uh, I know that you'll probably all assume, oh, Joe's on YouTube. He must be rich. Not the case. Um, <laughs> I wish. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's one of them we were sort of really worried that it wasn't going to happen. And um, and I don't really start feeling Christmassy until I've been to Berlin. Because that's like our thing. That's what we do. Uh, but yeah, we managed to sort of find a, a, a some accommodation that was all right. We found some flights that were decent. So uh, yeah, really, really excited. So I've got this... German trip here, this little German train that we're driving, uh, the 642, is really getting me quite excited now. I, I, I mean, because I've been on nights at work, I've not really got too excited. It doesn't feel particularly real at this time, but now I'm driving this, I'm a little bit like, oh my god, going to Germany next week. I can't wait. Uh, if you do follow my Flickr page, uh, Joe Dobson 66M57, I think there's a link in the, uh, in the, in the, in the the um, not the description, not the comments. Yeah, it was the description. There we go. Uh, there's a link in the description to my Flickr. Uh, so when we get back, do check that out because there might be some uh, funky tram bus train photos. I've still not managed to do all my photos from Ireland. Uh, we went to Northern Ireland for a day. You know, as you do, because we, that's how we roll. Some people get the train to Leeds for the day. We found some cheap EasyJet flights and flew to Northern Ireland for the day. Why not? I, I don't really get We've been driving as fast as we can yet. We seem to be running quite late. That, that train earlier made us late. I'm hoping that's not going to deduct points off me for that. Next stop, Erlenbach. And then, oh right, it's quite a way, isn't it? It's still 20 minutes from Erlenbach to Aschaffenburg. Oh, we're not stopping at this station by the look of things. Is this a station? Yeah, it is a station. Where is the horn? I can't see it. Not over there. Can't see it. That's annoying. Oh, hang on. Erlenbach. Right, let's not miss that, shall we? Let's uh, let's get quite a bit of braking. There we go. Oh, look at that. Coming over the river. Gorgeous. That's not really a... It's not a decent enough screenshot, is it? Oh, well. Never mind. Okay, I, f I always forget kilometres an hour, miles an hour, it's uh, it's a lot different, isn't it? I sort of did go a little bit too much too soon there, didn't I? Right, Erlenbach. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still not quite sure what I think of this. It's a decent enough route by the look of things. Am I going to spend a lot of time on this? 
probably not. Would you buy this route and drive it a lot if you weren't from the local area, if you didn't have some sort of emotional attachment to this route? Probably not. I'm honestly surprised that they've not done, I mean, I know that I have an obsession with Berlin, but I'm surprised they've not done any Berlin routes really for Train Simulator, have they? You know, I, I think the, there's some really, really good Berlin routes, like the RE1, for example, the RE2, really, really good lengthy routes that go through the heart of Berlin. You know, you get to go, at, at something that goes over through Hauptbahnhof, through Ostbahnhof, you know, over the, like the RB14 to Nauen, uh, the RE7, there's there's so many really good routes that go through like the city centre of Berlin, you know, you could wind over the Spree, absolutely brilliant. I'm really surprised they've not done that yet, you know, for German routes, it'd be really good for them to do that, but I guess there'd be quite a lot, there's a lot that needs putting in there, isn't there, a lot of scenery, so maybe that's why they've not done it. Next stop, Obernburg Elsenfeld. Then we've got a Schaffenberg after that. So yeah, a semi-express, by the look of things. This all looks very modern round here, doesn't it? Quite like the maquette, it's, uh, it's different to the usual Deutsche Bahn maquette. Three kilometres away. That I mean, maybe it's because they're diesel as well, but they, they, they don't seem particularly powerful, do they? These it's quite slow. It's quite a slow drive. I mean, I think it said that these they've got just over 400 horsepower per engine. So they're not the most powerful engines in the world that are powering these things. I mean, the uh, the the Siemens De Zero Class 185s in the UK. Have 750 horsepower per engine. They use the uh, the Cummins QSK19 engines. So when you think that's that's got nearly twice as much power as this thing does, I mean I guess this does strike me as quite a lightweight train. The carriage isn't particularly long. I, I just, oh, it's a hideous train. Let's get back inside where we don't have to look at the flipping thing. Um, but yeah, the, the, it just doesn't seem particularly powerful, does it? Hang on a second, 1.4 kilometres, so that is actually before that red signal. Not stopping there, wherever that is, that looks like some sort of industrial station, doesn't it? A couple of, a uh, bit of point work there, there's a train looking like it's uh, waiting to come the other way. Give them a wave, everybody. Wow, that is putting out a lot of uh, lot of pollution there to say that it's just idling. Right, here we go. This is Obenberg Elsenfeld. Coming in on platform number two here. Rural. Stand back from the platform, love. Come on. Play the game. It's another one uh, another thing that I love as well, and this is gonna sound really ridiculous, but like all the platform numbers are exactly the same. Well they're not exactly the same, like the two and the three are different, but like it's the exact same font, the exact same branding that you'd find at like Potsdam or in Berlin. That Deutsche Bahn font. I really want to know what font it is. Uh, so if you do know what font Deutsche Bahn use on their stations, let me know. Uh, you know, like this, uh, where are we? This font that they've got on the side of the train, but mainly this one here. 
gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Oh, it is the West Franken Barn. It says it on the uh, on the station signs there. Lovely. I do like the little root brandings that they have here. Right, full steam ahead. Aschaffenburg, 16 kilometres away. Wow. And it wants us to do it in 10 minutes? He having a laugh? Right, well, better get the uh, the afterburners on. Full steam ahead. Elektrisch gekoppelt. Electric coupler, maybe? Mechanisch gekoppelt. I wonder why that's spelt with an O and that's spelt with a U. Hmm. Elektrisch gekoppelt and mechanisch gekoppelt, which is obviously electric and mechanical couplings. So again, just feeling that this is a little bit, it's a little bit too perfect, isn't it? Around the track, we need more weeds, we need more overgrowth, you know, it needs to look more... That's the thing I find with Trenton World as well, it doesn't sort of render, the render distance isn't far enough, and it never has been on Trenton World. That's why I guess I struggle, but look, this looks perfectly flat. Where's the weeds in the distance? You know, it needs to be further, I get their rendering in here, but they, they need to be more around here. Make it look a bit more overgrown, a bit more alive. That's that's what I think would really bring this route, sort of, for me, would make it an interesting drive. I think as well with Trends and World, if you look at the track, it's just too blurry. Maybe we've been spoiled with Trends and Classic and uh, the Armstrong Powerhouse track enhancement packs and things like that, the sky enhancement packs, but this just doesn't look... I mean, look, you can see it rendering in there. It just... All right, that's not the Roots problem, that's Trends in Worlds problem, but at the same time, it just... that That's what spoils Trends in World for me. Oh, 10. No idea what that means. Hopefully it doesn't mean we have to do 10 kilometres an hour, otherwise we'll never flipping get there. Right, 100 kilometres an hour coming up on the, uh, on the, on the sat-nav, the, uh, the track maps at the top. Nice little town here, gorgeous German architecture. It really does feel German, doesn't it, to be fair? Hundred and twenty kilometres an hour after the uh, after this single track section. That'll do. Right, off we go. No signal. Oh yeah, there is a signal. Sorry, it's on the right, not the left. I was just looking at that red, thinking flipping egg. Red signal. Very tall signals, aren't they here? Eleven kilometres in seven minutes. Can we do this, people? I don't know if we can, you know. It would be quite nice to arrive on time at the end. Driving under the speed limit, we've got 6,893 points. I'm hoping that'll be enough for a, a, a platinum medal. Another thing as well, uh, I mean, I know that this is the case from European railways, but it's no fence. In the UK, it's quite sad how we've uh, we've really gone to town with the whole fences now to keep people out of the railway, you know, because it's like seen as 
oh well you know we, we'd better try and protect people from the railway but I mean when I was growing up I was always sort of I mean my family have all been on the railway they've, they've well more or less all worked on the railway as their careers and it's sort of always been drummed into me as a child you do not go on the railway you know I mean I, I never it never crossed my mind that was just sort of a you don't do that it's, it's not the done thing you know like you like you don't just walk down the road if there's a pavement you you know you walk down the pavement don't you um but you know so it's never sort of crossed my mind as as been a thing to do um so I've never done it but like it, it, in 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 the UK it's seen as oh we must stop people from being on the railway you know to, to protect them but in Europe a lot of the time I mean don't get me wrong in the, in the busier areas there are fences to stop you from getting onto the track but but a lot of the pla like countryside places like this that you know there's there just isn't because it's people just don't do it you know what I mean it, it's sort of seen as a we you, you just don't go there Ooh, another station we don't call at what's this bus over here let's see is it a, uh, a real bus I thought the game would crash for a second there it looks like a Maz looks like a bus I've never seen before but if I had to have a guess as uh, as to the brand I'd say it was a Maz I'd have thought they'd have gone for like a Citaro that they'd have put in there you know cars are looking quite old as well it's uh, they're not modern cars are they okay that one was and that one. Ignore that. I've just seen a couple of cars that look like Ford Sierras. Oh, there you go. That's the one. Look at that. It's probably a Mercedes, isn't it? Let's face it. Are we, uh, right, if we go outside, what is it? It's a Mercedes C Class. Ah, oh, lovely. Well, it, it sort of is. You can tell that's a Merc, can't it? Lovely. A brown Merc. 5.6 kilometres in four minutes, people. Can we do it? Another station. Nobody to get on either. Empty station. I do quite like that. They only seem to turn up when there's a train due. You know, if you're not stopping there, there's nobody stood on the platform waiting. That's awesome. Is this the whole route? Whereabouts are we? Oh, we are. We have more or less driven the whole route there, so it's not the longest of routes. Oh, our Schaffenberg. Oh, there's a train going through it now, even though we're not there. There is still a train going through. So obviously, our Schaffenberg. I wonder if this is where the Schaffenberg coupler comes from. Obviously, it's a Schaffenberg, not a Schaffenberg, but uh, but there is a Schaffenberg coupler that that trains in the UK have. Some of them do, not all of them. Oh, I realise we're going to be speeding in a minute. There we go. And we'll just have a bit of... There we go. Just to, just to take the speed off there. Let's have a... Uh, let's have a... Oh, no. Lovely. Oh, wow. Bit of tracks come in there. I don't know where that's come from, but... Uh, but we'll go with it. Why not? Yeah, I feel like looking at the looking at the route map here, we joined some sort of main line here. I mean, there's four tracks coming in there, four tracks coming in there. I dread to think what that is. That must be some sort of local and coaches. Maybe because we've got other DLCs, it adds that in. I don't know. Right, let's go full steam ahead because we're going uphill, and also it goes to 100 kilometres an hour just after this. There we go. Not going to get there in 90 seconds, am I? The uh, the slight, uh, the reduced speed limit there has put the nutcrackers on that one. Good lord. We're slowing down to 90 again, so I better not get too fast. Oh, there's some sort of busy dual carriageway on the right-hand side there. Oh, wow, we're actually going over that. Oh, no, we're not. That's that's just a single track. 
a single track. Oh, there's another station. Good lord. We really are a... Oh, it looks like a depot. We really are sort of a semi-express service, aren't we? Look at that. Right, through we go. I'm still not convinced. Where's the horn? We should be able to see it. High beam, reverser, master key. I feel like we should have a low tone as well. Instrument light switch. Oh yeah, get that on. He says as we're coming up to the end of the video. Flipping out. This is nice. I quite like blasting through sort of uh, suburban Aschaffenburg. The nice bridges. This is lovely. I don't find the cabs dim quick enough. You know, when you go in a tunnel. That's another thing. When you come out now, it'll go really bright really quick. Like that. But I don't think they dim quick enough. Right, here we go. Coming up to a 40. So we'll just cruise in at 40 uh, kilometres an hour. Ooh, yeah, let's, let's have a bit more braking. Just gentle. Doesn't have to be anything drastic. Join in another line there. You can just see that coming in on the right there. Come on, let's see some sort of German carriages coming out. Loco hold. Can we open the window? Oh, you can. Wow. Right, get that shut. There's an hell of a draft coming in. That's a shame. It doesn't appear that whatever it was, that long thing that was coming through, maybe it was freight. It doesn't appear that it's there. Anymore, there's uh, what's what's that over there? Oh, okay, maybe there's some sort of freight going on. That's that little shunt that I was on about earlier. Got another two carriage train over there, two carriage DMU. Right, well, there we go. That's where today's video is going to finish. I do hope you did uh, enjoy that run. Let me know what you think in the comments, as always. I'm always uh, eager to hear what you uh, what you think to my videos. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, please do click the like button, uh, regardless of what you thought of the DLC. Uh, and, uh, yeah, all right. I, I did enjoy that. It was a nice little run. But, again, I just... I don't know if I fell in love with it. Compared to the other Austrian route, which came with the uh, Trains in World 4, the OBB... Uh, the OBB add-on, uh, well, that came with Trenton World 4, as I say. I, I, you know, I love that. I think that's a really nice little route. I, I just don't know if I love this. It's quite a short, not particularly exciting route. But, uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I don't know how much I'm going to get out of this uh, in terms of my £24.99's worth. So, but, yeah, as I say... Uh, your comments are, uh, are, are invaluable. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video to the point where you want to keep up with my train simulator content, be it German, English, other countries, uh, do of course make sure you subscribe so that you never miss out on any future episodes. And other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.